around the park. It's over here. Yeah, right, like through a crowd of kids. Area yeah. that is a terrifying ordeal on a school playground while children are around. Surveillance video capturing a car driving across the playground. It also comes close to the playset and almost hits a child. To make this even scarier, police say the driver behind the wheel just 10 years old and he is accused of stealing that vehicle. Apparently, this is not his first time in trouble with the law. His history with police apparently Yo, spanning come on. back nearly. I'm sure they'll never get to a nine-year-old uh, stealing. So they'll, they'll never have an eight-year-old, though. Seven-year-old sons will never be. Yo, around my neighborhood, when I was younger, when I, when I was, like, in my 20s, right, early 20s, man, I, I lived across the street from this big, from this parking lot. It wasn't a big park. It was about the size of two houses, two row houses. And um, the little dudes from the neighborhood would steal their cars, and they would... Um, Park them over there, you know what I'm saying? Or we'll ditch them over there, whatever. So, I mean, I seen, I, I knew a lot of little car thieves, man. And the little ones that's young like that, they sit on their leg, right? So they'll fold their leg under them. So they sit on their leg or they'll sit on a phone book so they can see over the steering wheel. Because they can't even see over the steering wheel. So they have to sit on like a stack of books, a phone book, or sit on their leg. They got a little technique where they sit on their foot. They put their foot under their butt so they can see over the steering wheel. They start young with that stealing car shit, and it's always been like that. That ain't something that just some 2020 shit. Just of stealing that vehicle. Apparently, this is not his first time in trouble with the law. His history with police apparently spanning back nearly 18 months. This boy is also listed as a suspect in more than 12 cases that range from auto theft to robbery to assault with a dangerous, deadly weapon. The remaining entries are mostly related to runaway type cases. The mini <laughs> He's got a history with the police, okay? Right. A I history. Mean... Wow. Can it barely have a history with a I mean, pediatrician at that point. Right. He ain't got all his shots yet. Over criminal cases when the suspects are children. They're being raised again after Minneapolis police released this shocking video. It shows what MPD says is a stolen car driving dangerously close to kids on a playground, passing by multiple times. And then look at this, driving right between the sidewalk and the playground over the path leading to the playground equipment. It happened two weeks ago today on a school day outside Nellie Stone Johnson School in North Minneapolis. Police arrested the driver, a 10-year-old boy who has a lengthy record. Apparently his parents feel helpless. A mother uh, who I believe is a good parent has been asking the system for help and the system has been failing her and failing her child. Uh, and we need we need to figure out what the answer to that is. Right there. And listen, I'm not mad at this guy. He, he's in Minneapolis. He, he got to speak buzzwords, but it does embolden them, the parents and shit. Like, the system failed. Like, and I'm not saying that the mother could not have lost control of his little boy, because I've seen that dozens, hundreds of times where the mom is a great mom and the little boy is doing life in prison. I've seen that with my own eyes. I got that 100%. But this type of rhetoric, oh, the system failed her and the system failed him, that just gives sons an excuse. It doesn't, it, it makes us worse, man. You glad has got to start realizing that that makes us worse. You're not helping us. You're hurting us when you do that. Police arrested the driver, a 10-year-old boy who has a lengthy record. Apparently, his parents feel helpless. A mother uh, who I believe is a good parent has been asking the system for help, and the system has been failing her and failing her child. Uh, and we need, we need to figure out what the answer to that is. But the answer Chief O'Hara is looking for is not that simple. Our Callan Gray spoke with the Hennepin County attorney today about what needs to happen to help these families. This 10-year-old's joyride past a busy school playground isn't the first time he's broken the law, according to Minneapolis police, who released this footage on Friday. The 10-year-old that we have 
at least 30 yeah. entries in the Minneapolis Police Department alone, 30. dating back to May of 2023. What From the auto fuck? theft to robbery to assault to runaway situations. No. He has no idea what he's, you know, out there getting himself into. Yes, he does, he clearly. He see the consequences right. coming. Right. It's just, to flex it's just, for his friends. It's just mind-boggling that they, they, they can't believe that, yeah, this dude knows exactly what he... This little boy will fucking kill your ass. He'll shoot you in the back of your head. Joe Curry said he's like Latavi Latavius Milton. That's, that's all right. Yeah. I do hood rat it's shit with cool. my friends. And and they'll still say this shit, though. Like, what they're saying right now, this nothing news that they're saying, they would, he, he would still say, oh, you know, he's a child and he doesn't know any better. Yeah. Fuck out of here. That little fucking son turd is definitely going to catch a body in the next two years. If he's not um, locked up, Chief oh, Brian O'Hara oh. tells us for this dangerous drive in a stolen vehicle, he now faces charges of reckless driving and receiving stolen property. We made a decision to charge this child because of the significant safety implications, both for the child and the broader community. Sarah Davis is the director of the Children and Families Division at the Hennepin County Attorney's Office. Speaking generally, she says the next step in a case like this is determining whether a child is capable of understanding the legal proceedings and assisting their lawyer in their defense. If the answer is no, she says the case is dismissed or another assessment is done in six months. And she tells us generally kids this young are not found competent. So, you know, kids who are not competent in the delinquency system and cannot be treated through that system. We don't have um, sufficient resources in terms of out of home placements for children with those needs who require that type of specialized care. But we do know that there's a gap here. There is nowhere for the restorative practitioners to give them intensive therapy and teach them the life skills that they need to produce a better outcome. Under a new law going therapy. into effect in 2026, cases involving children younger than 13 will be handled as a child in need of protection or services, or CHIPS cases, instead of juvenile delinquency cases. Davis hopes that will get them services more quickly, as police call the current situation a crisis. That's an urgent... He don't need your fucking need or want your yeah. fucking right. services. And you know, and you know what else? Like they said that he, they don't think he comprehends. Right. The problem is, I that they're talking to this clown as a dog gliders. You gotta talk to him yeah. in, in, a, in oh, a way that he wicked. understands, like in a son, in, in a son, Ivanix way, and he he knows what's, he knows what's the word. He knows what's going on. I, tell me I'm wrong. But now That's they are what, charging him. So they d they do think he understands surprisingly. Also, oh, they're charging him. Yeah. With yeah, what? with receiving stolen property and like basically driving around the playground, essentially. That boy is at home right now playing fucking video right. games. I thought they said he didn't understand. <laughs> it doesn't Listen, seem like it'll do any good since he's been like involved in thirty other fucking things like robbery and shit. Let me tell you something. That little boy right there. He not only understands um, everything he's doing, but he's sinister. He's more um, he's more sinister than like an adult. Like an adult would have adult who live in that same type of lifestyle, or a young man living that same type of lifestyle has a maturity about him. Uh, he has a life um, mm. experiences. When you're just yeah. a kid, right? Think about your kids, right? Your kids. Your kids are kind of like there's a pureness to them because they haven't been through nothing. So once they start, like my daughter, she just started lying, right? So she, 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 she's, she's lying a lot now, right? And she's starting to learn, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, the difference between the truth and not the truth and how she can manipulate and stuff like that. So it's like, but she doesn't understand all the consequences of lies. She doesn't understand when she lies that, oh, somebody find out or, oh, if, oh, I got to tell a good lie. Oh, I can't just tell any lie because just the people are not believe me or blah, blah, blah. That kid right there, he's probably got the mentality of a fucking uh, gangster in the fucking Lucchese crime family, but with a 10-year-old's <laughs> right. restraints. Yikes. 
a 10 year old's um rationale a 10 year old's right. ability to um you know um um control himself a 10 year old's yeah. of empathy you know what i'm saying but i'm yeah. telling you you'd probably be shocked at how advanced those little boys are man he, he probably understand more than even the gliders understand to be honest i, I mean yeah. yeah i know i know he's yeah. a child right and and i think it's fair to say that they maybe don't consider or grasp the kind con- the supposed consequences right because there is none mm-hmm. but um but very, very he has a deep understanding of the capacity of like i'm smoke like when they say i'm smoking on, on your dead man's i'm smoking your dead homie they understand that yeah this motherfucker got killed he's gone he's never coming you know they they understand yeah. the gravity exactly they do understand the gravity of it because their little their homies died like you gotta remember they got homeboys that's dead so they understand what dead dead means you ain't coming around no more we never see you no more like they understand that that means they understand that shit way more better than we do. He's using wow. being ten to his advantage. Yeah, exactly. As insane as that is to say. Oh, without, without a doubt. I mean, it, like he he definitely knows that he can get away with certain shit, and well, basically everything. <laughs> he knows he can get away with everything. Um. And there's a sinisterness to that. That um like like Chucky. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, demonic. What's what what are you talking about happened in Phil in, in Chicago? You said it's, it's... There, there was a I don't want to spoil it, but there's one where like uh it was yesterday with a K 